What is up guys, Jarv here back today jumping into Destiny 2. Now in our video today, we're taking a look at the Salvagers Salvo. This is a brand new energy grenade launcher introduced with Season of the Chosen. So if you want to find out the fastest and easiest way to get your hands on this incredible weapon, be sure to stick around and enjoy the video. If you do enjoy the video, be sure to leave a rating down below. That super helps me out here on the channel. And 85% of you aren't currently subscribed. So if you do want to keep up to date with all the latest Destiny 2 content, be sure to hit subscribe as well. But without further delay, guys, let's jump into the video. Now, with the launch of Season of the Chosen, has seen the introduction of a brand new ritual weapon. This time around, it's called Salvager's Salvo, and this is a legendary energy grenade launcher of Arc Element. Now, as with previous ritual weapons, it has a choice in terms of the legendary traits that you can apply. It comes with quick launch and spike grenades, and a fantastic choice of other options too. Now, these include Ambitious Assassin, which overflows the magazine based on the number of rapid kills made before reloading, or Demolitionist, where kills with the weapon generate grenade energy activating your grenade ability reloads the weapon from reserves as well and in the final column we have vorpal weapon which provides increased damage against bosses vehicles and guardians with their super active and uniquely especially on a breach grenade launcher like this we have chain reaction where final blows with the weapon creates the elemental damage explosion now as this is an entirely new weapon introduced this season it has a power cap of 1610, so it will last you all the way up until Season 17. And unbeknown to some, a unique option also available to this is if you do apply Chain Reaction as your choice of legendary trait, you can combine this with the Dragonfly spec mod also on this weapon. What this will do is increase the radius of the elemental damage explosions. And the more explosions that you have, the more chance you have of having double grenades loaded into the chamber. So that's what Salvager's Salvo is, but how do you go about getting it? Well, first you need to go visit the gunsmith over in the tower. If you haven't paid him a visit already, he'll have a brand new ritual weapon quest. Now the quest step reads, we need to earn points by defeating combatants in Crucible, Gambit or the Strike playlist. Significant bonus progress for grenade or grenade launcher final blows. Also complete Crucible, Gambit or Strike matches with bonus progress for Crucible and Gambit wins and Nightfall strikes. So with that in mind, we're going to break this down into three individual stages. First of all, we're going to look at the build and weapons that we're using. Then we're going to look at the points and how to quickly and efficiently get seven and a half thousand points and finally to round out the video we're going to show you the quickest way to get match progress all in all in total it will take roughly 120 matches whether this be gambit crucible or strikes but we're going to show you today the quickest way to do that and the great thing about the weapons and the way that we're going to go about obtaining the weapon is that you can do this entirely solo. So if you aren't able to get full fire teams together, whether that be for Gambit, Strikes or even Crucible, you can do this on your own and still get this in an efficient amount of time. Now, as for the build itself, you can run this on absolutely any class. It is your personal preference. The only requirement for your armor is to make sure you have your grenade launcher mods equipped. Things like Ammo Finder, Ammo Scavenger and Ammo Reserves. These mods, as well as a grenade launcher reloader, will all make sure that you have plentiful amounts of grenade launcher ammo whether that be a kinetic or energy grenade launcher that you choose to run but also that you have plenty of power ammo too now whilst anarchy is a fantastic grenade launcher i don't believe it's the most viable option the most efficient option that we found was in fact wither horde wither horde is a fantastic choice as it uses energy ammo instead it sits in the kinetic slot and it's fantastic for ad clear you simply need to place a grenade at doorways and corridors and as long as you keep refreshing this, ads will simply run through your taken wells and will never come out the other side. Now a fantastic partner to the Wither Horde is the Blast Batu. This is a legendary power grenade launcher that was introduced last season with Season of the Hunt. And if you don't have one, you can obtain this with the Rathborn Hunt. It's part of the loot pool. Now much like Salvager's Salvo, Blast Batu can also roll with Chain Reaction. And if you have one with Clown Cartridge 2, you can have up to 12 grenades in your magazine. This once again is fantastic for clearing large groups of ads and pairs perfectly with wither horde any ads that are stuck in your wells you can finish them off using the blaster too so those are the weapon recommendations in terms of what you should be using to effectively get your point score. But where's the best place to get that? Well, we found by running Nightfall Adepts, you get the chance to go through the Devil's Lair this week. Now, the Devil's Lair is an original strike from the Destiny 1 era. And the fantastic thing about it is waves of fallen spawn through multiple corridors and doorways. And by utilizing Wither Horde in a way that I just described, ads have very little chance of even making it out of those doorways. 
Now, because we're choosing the Adept difficulty, if you aren't able to get a fire team together, this is entirely match made too, which will allow you to run this entirely solo if you wish. Now, all in all, it took approximately four to five Nightfall Adept runs to fully complete the point section of this legendary quest. One of the best sections of this strike is in fact in the final boss room itself. Waves of ads spawn from the left and right at the very back doorway, and you can pin these in using Wither Horde. Now, whilst you're completing these Adept Nightfalls, you'll get 2% contribution towards the match completions which is the other stage of this quest now we did try it on other difficulties however it didn't seem to warrant greater rewards so once you've fully completed the point section of this quest it's now time to look at the most efficient way to complete the rest of the matches required to finish this step now if you choose to stay in the strike playlist strikes will take you roughly 10 to 15 minutes per completion depending on your fire team and whether you're running nightfalls or the regular strike playlist and as i said before each completion of a strike will grant you roughly 2% for each completion. Now the other option is Gambit. Now Gambit matches are a little bit quicker than they used to be, however their efficiency depends on whether you're running solo or a part of a preformed fire team. If you can get a full fire team together, then Gambit matches will take roughly between 5 to 10 minutes. If you're running solo though, these may potentially take longer too. But regardless of whether you're running solo or as part of a fire team, the amount of progress that you make per completion is the same as if you completed a strike. Now the third and final option, and in my opinion, the best option is Crucible. Now Crucible isn't the most popular option of choice. However, this week in the first week of season of The Chosen, Mayhem is available. Mayhem is a pretty relaxed playlist. Each match lasts no more than roughly five minutes and your progress is the same as if you completed a strike or a gambit match. Now another great thing about Mayhem is because the matches are so short, you can effectively complete two of those in the same time it takes you to complete a gambit match or even a strike. So if you're looking to grind this out in the fastest and most efficient way possible, then I highly recommend taking advantage of Mayhem whilst it's available. If you're not able to jump into Mayhem this week, then the other alternative is jumping into Gambit, but in order to make that efficient, you will need a full pre-made fire team. So all in all, in order to achieve the point score and complete all the matches, it took roughly four to five hours in total. Now the final question here, is, is it worth it? Is it worth the effort for the salvagers salvo? Well, this is most definitely not Mountain Top 2.0. In fact, whilst this is still a fantastic PvE weapon and can have two in the chamber most of the time, it's better for ad clear than it is out and out boss damage. However, with that all being said, this is by far one of the most fun weapons that I've used so far in this year of Destiny 2. Ambitious Assassin almost guarantees two in the chamber most of the time, and Chain Reaction with a Dragonfly spec mod applied really creates some large and impressive explosions so there we have it that is the fastest and easiest way to get salvagers salvo if you're not able to get a full fire team together be sure to utilize the hints and tips in this video so you can seek this incredible weapon entirely solo now if you have enjoyed the video be sure to leave a rating down below that super helps me out here on the channel and if you're new here or you want to keep up to date with all the latest destiny 2 content be sure to hit subscribe as well i'm going to jump back into the game as always guys but i will catch you all again very soon